Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we got a really cool thing to show you, which is Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi with eight gigs of RAM and ethernet support. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I do want to thank the guys over at Windows for Raspberry Pi Discord channel. Amir, Luke, Mario, Marcin, and a bunch of other guys that put a lot of their efforts into getting this working. Now, this is very, very recent. So the version that you see here might not be the version you're going to be getting because this is still on the build 0.2.4 while he's releasing a new build that will have all this supported. So I just added new drivers that they compiled. And as far as the code to get the 8 gigs of RAM working, on the Raspberry Pi 4. Be sure to check out the Discord channel, thank the guys over there, and they should have all the instructions on how to get this up and going because it's, like I said from my previous video, it's ever changing. So by the time I release this video on the how to get it up, it might have changed in instructions. So that's why I'm not really releasing a how to get it working video. Uh, we're gonna pop over to a desktop and I'm gonna show you, uh, this is actually pre-recorded before I installed programs and you're gonna notice on first boot or fresh boot, it's actually running about one gig of RAM and the storage is only taking about 10 gigs total. And Amir did a lot of work in optimizing and getting down all the crap that is not needed in Windows 10 just to make the installation size smaller so we could fit it on 16 gigabyte SD cards and stuff like that. Moving on, uh, now you see this desktop which is fully installed. I have stuff going on all over the place. And if you take a look at the task manager, um, it loads pretty quick. Everything looks and moves pretty well. The only downside to this whole build is that the SD card is still on an older driver where it's not as fast as it should be. So most of the waiting time or the load time is because the SD card is a little bit slow. Otherwise, it runs pretty well. Um, default speed now instead of 1.4 gigahertz is 1.5 and you could adjust that in the BIOS. And like I said, the memory is now eight gigs of RAM. Now, if you see my previous video on the three gig version, uh, you know that I installed Microsoft Office and we already know a lot of the x86 code can work on Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. So instead of trying to install Microsoft Office again, I decided to install a different Office, which is LibreOffice. Now this is 32-bit or x86. It does take a little bit longer to load because you are emulating that whole x86-bit code, but it does run and it starts up like it should. I have no problems running x86 applications here. So as you can also see, he's actually changed the mouse icon. It looks pretty cool. I actually asked him personally for it. It's called the material theme. Um, it's really cool and I've been using it for my own desktop. But yeah, anyway, yeah, this is working. And there we have it. You know, like, I don't know how much more to test, but I know that this does work. And let me make this smaller and move this to the top right so you guys could keep an eye on it. it. Doesn't take much RAM at all, maybe a hair. And I got a word processing unit working that is not Microsoft Office. Now, since I installed a lot of x86 applications on the previous video, this time I decided to focus more on ARM64 programs. And one of which you could see it's Chromium. This Chromium, actually, you can see how fast it boots up. This is ARM64 and it runs really well as, as well as that VLC that he installed from the previous installation. That too was also ARM64. That's why it ran so smoothly. And if I want to watch something on YouTube, it does load. Now audio doesn't work yet, neither from HDMI or 3.5. That is a bummer. So just keep that in mind. They are still working on it. A lot of kinks needs to be worked out before that happens. But if I was to say, click on a video, it loads really well. Now I'm using the built on ethernet without having to plug in my own USB ethernet and stuff like that. It works pretty well. Yeah, for some odd reason now, now that I want to play, it doesn't want to play, but I could tell you it does work. And here's a snippet from an earlier video that I've done before. Moving on, like I was saying, 64-bit applications for ARM or ARM64. Um, I found video, Visual Studio Code was compiled in ARM64, so I'm able to actually run that in the native environment without having to run the 32-bit. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It runs really well. Uh, I think it doesn't show you what version this is. Yeah, it doesn't say if it's ARM64. I mean, it shows you the OS that's ARM64, but it doesn't show you the actual thing. Um, but 
ARM64 applications work perfectly fine. Audacity is another ARM64 application that I've installed. And this seems to load pretty well and work right off the bat. Let me see, do not show this on startup. And there we have it. We have a Raspberry Pi loop back and that, I mean, if I need to get audio, I could plug in a USB uh, audio thing, but yeah, for now, applications work. Let me see if I go into help about and if I could pull up if it's ARM64 on this. Probably not. Another thing that you probably guys, you guys probably want to see is file transfer. Now I'm not going to get the full one, uh, you know, gigabit ethernet. I tried, I couldn't get it, but I do have something that is about like 75 megabytes per second. So megabits per second, however you want to call it. And if I paste this over here, it might be too quick. Yep, that's too quick. Let me see if I can get a bigger file. Copy this and I'll just paste this to a desktop. This is a 290 megabyte file. Paste, you might be able to see it. You see how it's hitting 70 something, 65, 6. Yeah, it's right around that area. I'm able to get a decent speed in the ethernet that is built in. So that's huge improvement because a lot of you guys were asking how uh, for the ethernet drivers and now it's working. I know they're also working on the Wi-Fi drivers so that might be coming soon but for now ethernet is a huge bonus on our part. Let me see if I could drag this over to recycling because I don't need that. Close this out and you can see a lot of the things is the SD card that is the bottleneck for everything else. So even if you overclocked your CPU the bottleneck is this SD card. It's not not the actual CPU itself. So overclocking it doesn't do much good on this point. But otherwise, I haven't had any issues with this so far. I was able to load any program that I wanted to on here, especially now I'm testing the ARM 64 bit applications. That seemed to be pretty stable. Eight gigs of RAM is great, especially for this little Raspberry Pi. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was just giving you guys a little bit of an update on what's to come. Uh, again, I'll leave a link down in the description for the Discord channel so you guys could go grab your image and test it out on your own to see what applications you want to put on there. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.